my name is Dr. Scott Melidio, and welcome to part two of three for working with 3D model sets for dealing with functional groups and structures. So before uh, we get started, the functional groups that will be covered in this video are, are aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, esters, anhydride, amide, and thioesters. Uh, All right. So what each element is, before I show the structures, is this is carbon. This is hydrogen. This is chlorine. This is nitrogen. This is oxygen. This is sulfur. And then these two guys are the connectors making the different bonds. All right. So what I will do is I will show each structure. So the first one up is an aldehyde. So this you will always find at the end of a compound. So it's carbon double bonded to oxygen, and then off the carbon you have a hydrogen. Next is a carboxylic acid. Again, this too will also always be found on the end of a compound. So you have your carbon, and it's double bonded to an oxygen, which is also, and then the carbon's also bonded to an oxygen, and, a, and then the oxygen's bonded to a hydrogen. This guy here is a ketone. It will always be found in the middle of a structure. And what you have is you have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and then bonded to a carbon on either side of it. This guy here is an anhydride. So for the anhydride, it's a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. And then the carbon is bonded to an oxygen. And then this oxygen is bonded to another carbon, which is Bond, which is double bonded to another oxygen. So overall, for this functional group, you have two carbons and you have three, high, uh, three oxygens. This guy here is an ester. You have a carbon bonded to an oxygen, double bonded. And then the carbon is also bonded to an oxygen. And then this oxygen is bonded to another carbon. Next, we get to our nitrogen-containing functional group. What we have here is an amide. So for an amide, it's a nitrogen making three bonds, again, not showing the lone pair. And so one of those bonds is made to a carbon, and then the carbon is double bonded to an oxygen. All right, so for our last structure, we are going to do a thioester. So what we have for our thioester is you have a sulfur group bonded to a carbon, bonded to another carbon, and what is not being shown in this structure is the two sets of lone pairs that would be on the sulfur. So the sulfur, like I said, is going to be connected to two carbons, one, two, and then this second carbon is going to be double bonded to an oxygen molecule. All right, so that concludes this part of our functional groups. The third part is going to be showing you functional groups in real life compounds. So I hope you enjoyed parts one and two. And uh, thank you for your time. Have a great day.